Did you fall out of love with Death Squid when they started wanting you to register? Well, here's a reason to fall back in love with Death Squid. Details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So I don't know if you remember, but uh, back earlier on this year in 2022, Deaf Squid started to want you to register to use the Deaf Squid app. But as of September 2022, I have noticed you can download and install the app without registering again once more. So what is Deaf Squid? A, uh, a, a, a Swiss army knife for your Fire TV stick. So it gives you a privacy test to let you know if your connection is secure. A speed test so you can check the speed of the Wi-Fi coming into your Fire TV stick. It's also a cleaner as well, a one-stop cleaner so you can clean your device. Also includes a virus scanner so you can check your apps for viruses, gives you more information about your device and allows you to manage the apps installed on your device. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can get this great piece of software, this Swiss Army knife of the Fire TV stick. So first of all, grab your remote control and press the home button on the remote control. That is the picture of the house so that you're back to the main menu. Then go across to the magnifying glass, go down so that search is highlighted, middle button, and then just type on the on-screen keyboard, Def Squid. And as you're typing it, you will see it come up below the keyboard. Once you see it, highlight it, middle button, and then you're looking for this icon here, the dark blue, white and green icon that says Def Squid. Highlight it, middle button on the remote, and then middle button again to start downloading and installing it. Now this bit might take a bit of time. This really does depend on the speed of your internet connection. Just be patient. Once it's finished downloading, it will start installing. And once it's finished installing, installing will go to open. On some systems, it will go straight from downloading to open. So once you see that, it's now ready. So middle button on the remote control and Def Squid will now load. So as you can see here, we've got all these options here. There's no need to register anymore as of September 2022. Obviously, the developer has backtracked on that and decided that there's no need for you to register anymore. I guess there was a bit of a backlash with this. A lot of people said they were going to stop using it when uh, the developer asked you to register it. So uh, I think he's obviously backtracked because a lot of people simply stopped using it. So like I say, you've got a privacy test here which tells you about your internet connection and what the security status is of your internet connection. It tells you the location of your ISP's server or if you're on a, a VPN, the VPN server. Now you've also got a speed test here, which should give you a, an idea of how much speed your Fire TV stick is getting. This is handy if you're trying to sort out problems with buffering. Now, unfortunately, you do have this uh, cookie notice come up and it's impossible to get rid of it without either a mouse toggle or a, a mouse plugged into your Fire Stick. So to get rid of it, like I say, you have to either use mouse toggle or a, uh, a, a mouse plugged into your Fire Stick and you have to move across to I accept and then left click on there and uh, that will get rid of that notice. There you go. So that's not the greatest of, uh, of, of, of utilities on this particular app. Go across to cleaner, middle button. OK, and there you go. There's start cleaning device and that will go through your device. You need to allow it access to photos, media and files on your device. Otherwise, it won't be able to clean. Now, it's not going to clean out photos, media on your device. It's going to clean out temporary files. So just make sure that allow is selected here. Once you select it, middle button, and it says, do you want to delete old APK files that are no longer needed? Now, these are old installation files that you don't need because it's quite simply, you'll just download them again if you do need to reinstall any apps. So I'm going to select yes on that middle button. And there we go. It's going to clean out now the resi residual junk. OK, and as you can see, now it's the app junk remover. So it's just clearing some extra files out. So these are files which can be deleted without use, losing any data. Device defense, find and fix system vulnerabilities. 
So it's just doing that now, device booster, and it's advertise, uh, analyzing and improving the system resources. So that's coming up to 100, there you go. It's made 11 optimizations. The next thing we can do is we can go across to virus scan, highlight that middle button, and here we go, we can basically get it to, uh, to scan the viruses. So as you can see here, there's all the apps that I've got installed, and so far it's saying that it's not found any viruses in those apps. If you want to do a deep scan, go up to start deep scan all, middle button, and it does a more thorough check of all of the uh, apps on your system. It will take a while, so uh, just be patient with it. Let it go through, and uh, if it finds anything, like I say, it will let you know. Okay, so finally, after about 35 minutes on mine, it's scanned all 12 apps. So if you've got more apps, it could take a lot longer. If you've got less apps, it could take a lot shorter amount of time, but it's finished scanning for viruses. And as you can see there, because my pie chart is gray, and gray means undetected, so it means 100% of my apps, it's not detected any viruses in them. If um, there was anything malicious, then part of it would be red. If it found something that was perhaps harmless, but it was still a virus as such, or malware, then uh, it would be green. But uh, yeah, it's not detected anything, so that's fine. So the next thing we go along to is my device. And this gives us uh, details about our device. So it gives us, if we go into applications, it takes us to the applications section of the Fire Stick. Device takes us to My Fire TV. Network takes us into the Wi-Fi network settings. Stub information, that isn't available on the Fire Stick. So all we can do is cancel that. Controllers and Bluetooth. So that takes us into the remotes and Bluetooth devices section. And home theatre, that gets us into the home cinema system, which isn't shown on a lot of Fire TV sticks unless you actually do have a home cinema system set up. So that takes you to a bit of a hidden menu for most of them. You've also got manage apps up there. So you've got the option if an app was running to stop it, like full stop it. So go into full stop and that stops it from running in the background, frees up a bit of memory in there and frees up the processor to hopefully make your system run faster. But you've also got an option there as well to uh, uninstall. So let's just, I've just full stop that. There you go. And you've got uninstall as well. So if you want to uninstall an app, there you go. You just hit on uninstall and hit OK and it uninstalls. So a great little Swiss Army knife there of options for you for the Fire TV stick. Um, if we go up to about, that just tells us the version number that we've got at the moment. But one of the things I'm going to go back to, and that is the speed test. Now, unfortunately, like I say, on a lot of devices, you're going to get the cookie notice come up, which is a real pain in the backside if you haven't got mouse toggle or a mouse connected to your fire stick because you can't really see the result of the speed test that easily. So if you've got that, then uh, the best thing to do is to download a separate app for that. So just grab your remote control, press the home button. That's the picture of the house on the remote control. Go across to find, then down to search, middle button, and just type speed test. And as you're typing speed test, it will come up below the keyboard. So once you see it, go down, highlight it, middle button, and then choose this, test net speed. So once you've chosen that, middle button, and then middle button again on this screen here to download it. And as you can see, it's now downloading. Now this bit might take a bit of time. Once it's downloaded, it will say installing, and once it's installed, it will say open. So middle button on the remote control, and then you'll get this little uh, guide come up here the first time you run it. Hopefully uh, this won't come up again after you've run it. So just go down to got it, okay, and middle button on the remote, and there we go. So we've got a couple of tests here. We can test the download speed there. So there you go, it's now doing a test. Now my speed isn't brilliant. It is only about 22 megabits. So there we go. If we have trouble with that speed test, then we've got an alternate one that we can use. I'm just going to go across to stop, just there to stop this speed test. We've got the alternate, which just connects to a different server. We've also got a ping test there as well. 
so it gives you a uh, an idea of the ping so uh, but um, but there they go there's the alternate which might be a, a good good idea to go into if for instance the standard speed test servers overloaded so as i've said the new def squid or the new version of def squid no longer requires you to basically sign up for it or give your email address to use it it's once again completely free it's in the amazon app store and available for you to use hope you like this video and if you did don't forget to check out some of my other videos i've got thousands of videos covering all sorts of subjects hopefully you'll find something to educate you entertain you and maybe even amuse you i hope you like this video and if you did hit that like button if you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines and if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all you can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.